How's it going technicians? In this video we're going to be looking at the bat box, the water mill, the windmill, the solar panel and the rechargeable battery. If you want to skip to their tutorials just click on them. To create a rechargeable battery you'll need to have two redstone, four tin ingots and one insulated copper cable. So first of all we'll create the copper cable and then insulate it with rubber and now we'll create the actual rechargeable battery so we'll put one tin in the middle right, middle left, bottom right and bottom left one redstone in the center and the very bottom and our insulated copper cable up the very top this will give us a rechargeable battery now empty rechargeable batteries are stackable but once you put energy into them, they can only be placed in one slot. So now we'll go over to the generator, where once coal was, and now has been converted into energy. If I put my rechargeable battery at the top, it will then deduct the energy into the rechargeable battery. And then if I go over to a machine that requires energy to run, for example, the extractor, and I put it down the very bottom, and put sticky resin up the top, it will then process my materials as if it would from the generator but with a battery. I can take that battery out and then it will slowly deduct an energy that is stored in the extractor. Alrighty, time to make a bat box. So we're going to go ahead and create some insulated copper cables. Well, bad clicking skills. Just leave that one out. Alright, and now to make three batteries. And now with one of the insulated copper cables on the top, well actually another two, <laughs> that will give us three empty rechargeable batteries. Now to make the bat box, just put your rechargeable batteries along the middle. We put the cob cable at the very top and a wooden plank in the top left, top right, bottom right, very bottom and bottom left. This will give us our bat box. Now all your rechargeable batteries need to be either empty or fully charged. You can't have, for example, the middle one having a little bit of energy in it. They need to be completely empty or fully charged. So the bat box is one of the basic several energy storage devices there is and it's able to store up to 40,000 electrical units and is able to emit 32 electrical units worth in currents. Now I've been naughty and spawned another bat box next to a solar panel and it's been taking in for a little bit. I'll just get my copper cables out here. And so, from the uh, solar panel, it's going into the bat box, powering it up, which then I can get a empty battery and start to fill it, just like that. So it will fill up until it is full with 40,000 electrical units, but say once it's full, you want it to go to another electrical uh, storage device. We'll just place that down. And now this is its output side. Pretty much, if I go and put copper cables then to the bat box, it won't charge it because it's not coming out of its output side. Just to show you, it's doing nothing. So we'll get rid of these. And now put that there and then link it and so now this one is being charged up but as soon as it gets the 32 electrical units you'll then pass over onto this next bat box and once this becomes full it'll start powering up this now ooh, need the bat box <laughs> so if we go over to where the grizzly bear is hopefully it doesn't attack me um, 
Yeah, be a good bear. So now we ha have a high voltage solar array, which is able to uh, emit 512 electrical units per tick. I just placed my bat box there, and I'll join up the copper cable, and then once again to this. It blows up my bat box because my bat box can only support 32 electrical ticks in electricity transfer. Now to create a solar panel you'll need to have two electronic circuits, three glass, one generator, and three coal dust. Now put the electronic circuit in the bottom left and bottom right hand corners, generator at the very bottom, glass in the middle right, middle left and very top, and coal dust in the top right, middle and top left. Now to get coal dust you have to put normal coal through a macerator. So now that we have the solar panel, down there is the bat box that we just made earlier. And so now I'm going to get up onto the roof of the house and place the solar panel. It's made out of marble. It looks very, very sexy. And so we'll place it, I think, about here. So we'll just place it like that. Now, it is gathering sun. Well, energy from the sun. If I, for example, change it to dark. Hmm. Okay, major glitch. Oh, there we go. Um, it's now not powering, and it's not absorbing energy. So pretty much solar panels cannot gain electricity in the night, or underground. Or if they're placed in water. Um, so... We'll change this back to day. Now my solar panel's working properly, generating energy from the sun. My bat box is charging up. It's all good. But if I want to move that bat box now, and with some copper cables, channel it down, and stick it right there, it won't charge because there's an energy loss from where it goes from the solar panel to the bat box. Now, one, two, three, four, five. So here's the fifth one. If we mine that away and put our bat box right there, it starts charging. Pretty much the distance that the solar panel and the bat box can be away in terms of cable um, in between them can be five copper cables that'll uh, keep charging them. Once you've placed a solar panel don't move it unless you've got a wrench or an electronic wrench otherwise if you mine it with a normal pickaxe it'll just pop you back out a generator. <whistles> to make a windmill you'll need to put one generator in the center and then an iron ingot in the top right, bottom right, bottom left, and top left hand corners. <laughs> that was so simple. So I just built this outside my house. Very tall, very ugly. And I got my wind mill here. Up in the sky, you can hear it working. I've added my bat box. That, that's not even worth explaining. Okay, so if we go up here to one that I placed up higher, Hopefully we'll get a better result. Okay. Ah, here we go. So, this one's powering along. Pretty much, the higher your windmill is, the better it's going to perform. So, with this one, it's halfway. It can, it can go twice as fast. But, um, it mainly depends on placement and how high you place the windmill. Pretty much, if I was to place it right next to my solar panel, it wouldn't even work, because there's no wind down there. To make a water mill, you will need to have four sticks, four wooden planks, and one generator. Put the generator in the very center, put the wooden sticks in the top right, top left, bottom left, and bottom right, and then the wooden planks at the very top, very right, very left, 
and the very bottom. And that will give us two water mills. So here's the water mill that I just made. I'll just go get some buckets of water and place them into the very bottom of the water mill. This will slowly fill up its bucket, but pretty much as a waste until we get a bat box there. And then I'll quickly convert the water I just put in to the bat box. Now this is good if you've got excess water or you just want to fill it up and get some quick water through power. <laughs> and over here I have one that's submerged in water. So I'll just go back and get this bat box. I'll just use some um, copper cables and pretty much put, mine that out, put the bat box on top and now it will start filling up the bat box with energy that has been stored in the water mill. Now you can put a battery at the very top and then it will start charging the battery from the water that is stored up in here. But it's very, very slow process. That's a wrap for this video. We'll learn how to make the bat box, the windmill, the water mill, the solar panel, the rechargeable battery. Bye for now, not forever, and thanks for watching.